You've heard it before in 2021. And it's been there for maybe two weeks now. And again in 2022. I hear some people talking about they done went weeks. And again here recently in 2024. We need to get you something about it and get the trash picked up. It's a familiar story for Port Arthur residents. A hiccup in collection services turned into years of piling uncertainty with irregular collection routines. And yes, mounds of trash lining streets. Our service has gone downhill. And it's not only heavy trash, it's garbage. A story we've followed since 2020, yet here we are at the end of 2024, and the city's trash and garbage problem has only persisted. Officials citing supply chain issues for truck repairs and lack of employees. Mayor Thurman Bartiz says the city has contracted workers and trucks to address the issue. Any idea how long y'all are going to have to do this? Well, uh, I'm not, I don't, I don't want to be too speculative on that. But uh, until we are able to successfully remain on the proper schedule, I would be a proponent to keep the contract labor so that the citizens would actually be receiving the services that they pay for. We filed public records request. Currently, there are five working trucks. Five are being repaired. The city spending over $611,000 on repairs to their fleet from 2019 to 2024. Mayor Barty tells us buying more fleet is costly and that wait could take months. Your best bet is to repair them. Yeah, so uh, that, that's why I said earlier, <clears throat> I would be proposing, or I would propose if I had the opportunity to uh, continue with the contractors. There are 11 job openings for trash services. Bartiz says the city is training several personnel in-house, hoping that'll fix that part of the problem. What would you say to people who have been frustrated because this issue has been ongoing for quite some time? Well, I'm a citizen of Port Arthur as well. So uh, my entire tenure here as mayor, this has been a concern, okay? Uh, from garbage to trash. Uh, the only thing I could say is that I have seen from, you know, a front row seat, you know, the diligence that our staff administratively puts forth to try to be sure that their departments are operated properly. In Port Arthur, I'm Jay Morrow reporting.